guys. So normally when you deploy to production, you should have a CI CD pipeline that's able to lint and run tests and check your code that you push in there and then give you the confidence to push to production and deploy many times to production every day. That is ideal. However, however, in certain environments, enterprise compliant environments, this sort of constant change is not permitted for one reason or another. So how do you deploy a repository to production in a sort of approval sort of manner, maybe on a schedule like on a Monday night or something like this? How do you do that? You do that with two different Git repositories. And let me just demonstrate the process in GitLab. So as you can see here, I have an infra dev demo here with some values. And let me create this infra prod demo repository that we're going to use to, to be the, um, the repository that gets run to, to deploy to production. So this, this prod um, repository is a, you know, a highly protected, sensitive um, sort of pipeline that only uh, a limited amount of people can push to and furthermore even a smaller amount of people can improve typically in, a, in a, an environment so, uh, so let me um, start from the very beginning here i'm going to clone down the infra dev thing so this is where people are making changes this is where most developers are working in and and uh, what we want to do is add the prod uh, repository as a remote. So something like this should work. We want to also initialize it. And to do that, you do something like, um, oops, uh, you do something like this, a git push to prod all. So now, essentially what we have is the prod exi uh, exactly the same commit 990 as what uh, dev is. So dev and production are exactly the same for this initial bootstrap. But now we want to have lots and lots of development and then we want to queue up uh, a deployment in production at, for approval. How do we do that? So let me make some changes in dev. So let's just pretend that, you know, um, that let's see what we have in the staging that staging v2 and um, okay let's pretend that we have a promotion from staging to production so normally if this commit happened you know uh, v2 uh, promoted if this happened in a typical dev repository um practicing githubs this this production would be sort of an uh released already but we don't want that we want this particular change to be approved now let's pretend there's more and more and more commits doesn't really matter so let's do this approval process how do you do that we push this particular change to the pod remote into a different branch let's call it here yeah, i have it i've tried it before git push prod push the main, that's what we've been working on, for approval. Of course, you can choose a particular commit, you can choose a particular tag normally. You probably want to work with tags in the future, but I'm just keeping it simple here. I'm pushing that latest change for approval. So now if we look over at the uh, prod demo, I just do a refresh. Now it notices that there's been a new change, right? Uh, a, new, a new branch for, for a merge request. And so at this point, the, let's assume that the main is protected. I can't, I can't push to main. Only a certain highly privileged approver can merge to main. So I basically create a merge request as a developer, assign it to that person who is the, the boss or whatever. And only in this particular um, process, and perhaps it could be even scheduled, you know, so it only happens at a certain time. Only in this particular uh, uh, process 
that um, the production pipeline is run. So what happens, the, um, the, the, the approver looks at the change, yes, this is what's gonna go into production. Um, there might be other commits there, like you know, values are dev and values I say, but, but those can be, for the most part, ignored. It's what the values that prod.yaml changes are of concern here. And then if that is approved, goes through some ceremony, ceremony um, perhaps the testers can give a report that this V2 has been well tested, whatnot. Only then the approver clicks merge. And now that kicks off the production deployment pipeline. And now we have the, the a production deployment. So I hope that makes sense. We have one repository where we sort of queue up all the, the work. Then come release time, we push to a different remote, a different repository. And then they, there is an approval process. And in, in GitLab, it's called a merge request. Hope that was clear. And if you have any questions, do please ask them below. See you guys.